It's Valentine's Eve, also known to some as Rivals Appreciation Day, and you're looking to stir up some powerful feelings, good or bad. What do you do to get the attention of your love or enemy? I bake them a delicious meal and dessert. I send them smoldering looks from across the room, catching their gaze and demanding their attention through sheer force of charisma. Send them a copy of Adam Sandler's 2011 hit comedy film, Jack and Jill. But each time, they've wronged me. Hey, you guys want to start a fight? Ah, everything's going well. Your ideal date is all planned out and everything's ready right down to the pyrotechnics. But oh no, the ghosts of your 17th century ancestors all arrive at once and refuse to leave until they see you score. Can you salvage this date? What do you do to keep the specters from scaring your partner? I bring out the Uja board. Time to girl boss and gaslight my way out of this by continually making vague references to me faking the Uja board, and thus anything scary that night is equally assumed to be my doing. They think I have a sense of humor, and they might be able to land me a job in special effects in Hollywood, which my ancestor seems to find even more amusing than my love life. Now listen here, the only way to keep them from scaring your partner is to be scarier than your dead looming relatives. Seriously though, what's a good day to spooky shenanigans don't happen? If they run, they ain't the one, that's what my grandma said. I employ a blindfold and tell my partner that it's kinky time. What's a good play without the Greek chorus? All my ghosts are in Scandinavia and cannot harm me here. Your love isn't returning your feelings, so you go down to this magic shop by the pier to buy a love potion. But wait, the potion seller is an absolute hunk. What do you do? I already have my own hunk, and so of no use for the stranger. I thank them politely for the potion and leave. Make a note to set the love potion maker up with someone else, like my best friend. I, I hit on him for like a discount, but I feel a little guilty. If you're gonna flirt, flirt big. Finish buying the potion and hand it right back to them. And if they're charmed by the cheesiness of the move, they're a keeper. Two love potions, next question. Prior to discovering your insatiable hunger for blood, your biggest fascination in this mortal life was... The ability to hiccup, burp, and fart all at once. Blood. Those videos of people making miniature models of buildings. Also blood. Really, it, it all worked out for me. Can you do a backflip? Yes, that's very impressive. Thank you. Who, of anyone you know, would probably be the best at wielding a sword in combat? I couldn't do my friend's bad and just pick one. Oh, Leshy for sure. They've got the arm length to make it even more dangerous. Mr. Obama. What words would people use to describe your personality that can also be used to describe cheese? Thick. Creamy. Heady. Nutty. Desirable. Full of holes. Sweet, yet complex. Bitter. Sharp. Perfect. I will make you shit. Gouda. You have one chance to impress your crush, but you can only use a copy-pasted review of a product on Amazon. Go! No complaints from Grandpa. Did you ever have a Tamagotchi die? Don't lie. What was the last kind of non-rechargeable battery you had to replace in one of your electronics? Double AA, A, triple A, D, etc. How the fuck am I supposed to remember that? I think maybe double A? Triple D. What video makes you bust a gut? Would you describe yourself as creamy?
You see back in old Napoli, that's a Maury. 